No, thinking of an, think of an alluring brand image and a cockroach probably isn't at the top of your list. No. But our next guest somehow seems to be able to make it work. She is Marissa Montgomery, founder and chief executive of Rotten Roach. The company makes ultra hip t-shirts, sweatshirts and they're beloved by celebrities like Kate Moss and Salma Hayek. Now it sells through a few high-end retailers but almost 80% of sales are made online. Marissa established Rotten Roach in 2012 and chose the name after her first-hand experiences of those things in New York. They are in abundance, apparently. Now, she was featured on the Forbes 30 to watch under 30 list. And uh, Marissa Montgomery joins us now. Marissa, thanks very much for coming into thank the studio. You, thank you for having me. Uh, so tell us about your product, about your brand. Where we, obviously, the idea, Rotten Roach, we've heard the name comes from your experience of living in New York with lots of cockroaches. Yeah. <laughs> but why did you think there is a gap in the market for T-shirts? I mean, I just know from experience of myself and all my girlfriends, T-shirts are things you can buy, you can wear in the day, in the evening. And it was kind of, I wanted to create this wearable art. So I worked with an artist to create kind of one-off wearable art T-shirts. So each graphic is exclusively designed for Rotten Roach. Um, and they're just kind of funny, tongue-in-cheek. I mean, you, you're wearing one of them yes. now. It says Love Bug. Yeah. Um, and looking at your website, there's loads of different T-shirts mm. there, etc. It's pretty high-end. They're not cheap no. by, by any means. Just talk us through where you wanted to place yourself in the market. I mean, believe it or not, it is affordable luxury. It sits kind of amongst its peers on the lower end. But we do sit in high-end boutiques kind of mostly as we were discussing before for positioning and we seem to sell really well we sell all across the world everywhere from St Bart's to Greece to Miami LA. How did you make that happen though because it's partly about connections isn't it and, and who you know it does help a lot doesn't it? It definitely does but if someone doesn't like the product ultimately they're not going to buy it. So you spoke there about placement uh, you've got yourself in some high-end boutiques. Yes but most of your sales are online. Yes. Uh, also, where you make your products, you're manufacturing uh, in Turkey, yes. in California, and yeah. you've got plans to start doing embroidery in the UK. And you're still very involved at the minute. You pack up most of the items yes. and send them out yourself. I'm packing up all your orders. When you go onto Rotten Roach <laughs> and order something, I am personally packing it up for the moment. But yes, manufacturing, I've been to all of our factories in California, downtown, in Turkey. I work very closely with the manufacturers, and I am hoping to bring manufacturing closer Closer to home, I would love to make in England. Okay, so this is uh, one of the jumpers that's the boss. The boss, not that I am the boss Very by any means. I wish I was Very the boss, apt. but you know. <laughs> um, but this is one of the jumpers. It's it's, it's out there today. Yes, it actually and just came in today, so you're the first person to see all it. All right, I'm holding up the boss. Yeah, and 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 just to say that you know these things just fly off the shelf, as it were, um, and and yet. You've got the likes of Kate Moss and Salma Hayek wearing this stuff. I mean, how did you make that happen? That's not easy. Actually, to be honest, both of them bought the T-shirts. We didn't give them. It was amazing. And it's interesting. You can actually search because I know where they bought it from, which store, because each store buys a different thing. So you're able to trace and it. And that's a gift for you. I mean, you I can't mean, beat that from it's point amazing. of view of marketing. Yeah. And, and that fuels a lot of further it purchases, does. doesn't it? That helps sales incredibly. And social media is so important. So once we post that picture or a celebrity post that picture, I mean, we see a direct correlation with sales on the websites and we can actually trace it, clickbacks directly from Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You mentioned all those social media sites and so you are very involved in running the company. What percentage of your day do you spend on social media promoting your brand? <laughs> Too much, I think. But it is so important. We have a blog section on the website where we do interviews with interesting, inspiring women. And we're always looking to work with different people, photographers who have big social media influencers, influencers themselves are, you know, it's a whole new kind of type of celebrity now you have wearing your product, not just Salma, Haima, Hel uh, Salma Hayek, Kate Moss. It's also these girls who you wouldn't necessarily know on the street, but they've got two million Instagram followers. Okay, Marissa, that's really interesting. Thank you very much for coming in this morning. You've also got one, haven't you, with the boss on? I do. I'm more of a boss than you, am I? No, I'm not. Who is the boss? <laughs> Sally. Is that right. wonder from Down Under again? <laughs> Pokemon Go took the world by storm last year. Nintendo's smash hit saw millions of people take to the streets in search of virtual monsters. Our technology correspondent, Rory Keflin-Jones, has been speaking to the man behind the madness at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Last summer, an extraordinary craze swept...